Welcome to Designer Digital's Tip of the Week, May 21st, 2011. This week, I've got your background series, number one, using frames to enhance backgrounds in Photoshop and Photoshop elements. This week's tip is the first in a new series on adding pizzazz to background papers in Photoshop and elements. Quick and easy, this technique combines two images with blending modes. Begin by opening a digital background and a frame embellishment in Photoshop or Elements. Use the Move tool to drag the frame onto the background document. When you're working with a PNG image, there's a couple of ways that you can move your embellishment over onto your document. You can either drag from an opaque section of your frame or other element, or you can turn off the Auto Select layer and move it over, or you can move directly from the Layers panel over onto your new document. Hold the Shift key as you click and drag to center the frame on your background paper. With your frame on your background paper, you can go ahead and close the frame document. Next, blend the frame into the background by selecting the frame layer here on the Layers panel. Select a blending mode from the drop-down menu at the top of the Layers panel. The blend modes control how the colors in your images interact with each other. By default, it's set to normal, which simply leaves each pixel the original color with no blending. The blend mode menu is divided into six sections. Basic modes are normal and dissolve. These two modes retain the original color information. Dissolve mode randomly replaces the colors in the frame and the background paper. The next section are the Darken Modes. Darken Modes look at the color information and burn or combine the colors in a way that always darkens the images. The next section is the Lighten Modes. The Lighten Modes look at the color information and blend the colors in a way that always lightens the image. The fourth section are the Contrast Modes. These darken and lighten the image, boosting the contrast. The next section are the comparative modes, which compare the two images looking for areas that are the same. And the final section are the composite modes. These affect the color or the luminosity of the images. Choose a blending mode that blends the frame nicely into your background. For the sample, I'm using hard light. Next, tweak the blended background to find a pleasing effect. Here are two suggestions. Select the frame layer and duplicate it by pressing Ctrl-J or on a Mac system Command-J on your keyboard. This will give you a more dramatic effect. I'm going to delete this layer so I can show you the next effect. You can adjust the opacity of the frame layer by coming up here to the Opacity slider and clicking on it. Move the slider to the left or to the right to increase or decrease the opacity of your frame. Using blending modes, your frame will become a part of the background layer matching the color and style. Thanks for watching and be sure to check back next week for another Photoshop or Elements Tip of the Week.